the three. It's second down. Little handoff. A little juke. Touchdown, USC. And guys, what do you think of that touchdown run? Boy, I really like the way the line made room for this guy to run through. I like the way. USC is lining up to kick this one off. Powell and Davis set to return. He sends it off. Davis fields it at the two. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Well, time is yards ago. Second and as a ball. player, you just got to know how far you need to go line. to make that first down. The Wildcats come out showing three wide. Surveys the field. He lets it go. And he got it! And that tackle's going to save him six. Wow! Well, don't go away yet, folks. That was just a great pass and catch, and what perfect timing to get something going. I think this defense got a little bit soft with the two-possession lead. They better pick it up, because this game is a long way from being over. And he has a huge game. And yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him. He takes off. Ends up with a great run. Oh, my, what a catch. Touchdown. I didn't think I would ever see this record go. Yeah, no receiver at this school has ever accounted for this many touchdowns yet. What a consistent career this guy had over the years. Just awesome. No question. He's a perfect all-around receiver. Supreme athlete. Great hands. Ladies and gentlemen, this kid is one of the most impressive receivers I've seen in the history of this school. Johnson lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Hand off up the middle. Child with a takedown Number at 30, the 29. The Gable three gets three yards on the, on the play. play. So that'll make it third down for the defense, and they get him out after three plays. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time. Powell, the return man. <laughs> Booming kick. Powell fields it at the 24. Pretty good punt return there, and that should help their chances a little, don't you think, guys? They only need a touchdown, and that would put them right back into this game. And they have enough time on the clock where they don't have to rush their offense. You're exactly right, Coach. They just need to put together a solid drive. They'll get the ball here at the 43. Robinson, the lone back. Selman drops back on first down. He wants it all. And he got it! And it's a whole new ball game. <laughs> Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And the score is Arizona 34, USC 31. Kicks off. Gable from his own end zone. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? It's only a three-point game, so they can tie with a field goal or take the lead with a touchdown. They have time on the clock, so I wouldn't rush things here. The important thing is to move the ball down the field and put points on the board. Drops back to pass. Let's it fly. Thomas with the tackle at the 24. Nothing going and six to go. All on their own 27. action he delivers it falls incomplete he overshot his target there one of the things that is important here is that they come up with the blitz and don't shift the quarterback ball on the 47 yard line the wildcats line up in an eye formation little handoff he's hit and got away brought down at the 44 usc calls a timeout and they'll have one timeout left From the 44-yard line, it's second down and seven to go. I 
formation here. Lewis with the tackle at the 40-yard line. Robinson gets about four yards on the play. So that'll make it third down. Arizona in a four-wide set. It's a pass on third and short. Rolling out to the right side. Throwing left. Got it to his receiver. USC will call a timeout. And now they got no timeouts left. This is what happens when you make plays. You end up being named Coke Player of the Game. Congratulations. Arizona sets up in the eye. Robinson takes the give. And he's taken down at the 22. Robinson picks up about four yards on the play. Second and six. Ball on the 22-yard line. They're in the eye. Here's the give. Little fumble. Scooped up by the defense. Look at them go. The 50. Down the sideline. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. And that's going to give them the lead. This fumble puts them right back into it. You bet it does. Now they've got the football and momentum. There's a flag down. And here's the call. Nice kick. Passes the five. Guys, what are you thinking at this point in the game? This is obviously a big possession. They have to get the ball in the end zone right here. And this is their last opportunity, Kirk. If they don't score here, then they can call it a night. Four wide. Selman back to throw. Looking. He's rolling right. He's going to go for the home run. This one is incomplete. Great play. That's how you make someone drop a football. Let them know you're there, and then, wow, put your pads on them. That's the way you make it hard to catch the ball. I will say that. I agree. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 22. Arizona lines up with three receivers. Selman steps back to pass. Looks. Going deep. Has it to the senior. That's now 300 passing yards for this quarterback, Coach. This guy's having a huge game. Solid. And I'll tell you why. This offensive line has given him plenty of time to throw the ball back there. First and ten. The Wildcat with four receivers. Selman. Back to pass. Throws to the middle. Found his man. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Selman looking to throw on first down. And it's incomplete. There's an injured player, and we'll try to find out who it is. Trust me, this young man is not going to let these trainers keep him out of the football game. He's as tough as they come, and he'll be back today. Second on the 10-yard ten. line. Ball on the 10-yard line. The Wildcats come out the shotgun, surveys the field, rolls to the left. He decides to run with it. Touchdown! And now they're winning this ball game. Unbelievable! What a finish! Oh, wow! You talk about an amazing ending to a game. They don't get much better than that. Are you kidding me? Did I just see that? This might go down as one of the greatest games I've ever seen. And this one's all wrapped up. What are your final thoughts on the game, Coach? Well, this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long. Arizona really got a